Could there be dinosaurs on the moon? Yes, according to science. The meteorite that radically altered everything. Roughly 65 million years ago, when dinosaurs still dominated the Earth and inhabited every region, a meteorite the size of Mount Everest fell on the Yucatan Peninsula, wreaking havoc and wiping out a significant portion of the planet's living species. The sky became significantly darker for thousands of years as the Earth's crust lifted several kilometers. There are current theories that contend that the dinosaurs were likely already on the verge of extinction when this meteorite hit, and that it was merely the icing on the cake that ultimately brought about their demise. Was the dinosaur extinction brought on by a meteorite? You can express your thoughts in the comments if you want us to discuss it in a future video. For the time being, the only thing that matters is that this cataclysm event actually took place. The clearest evidence for this is the 180 kilometers wide crater known as Chicxulub in the Yucatan Peninsula, which was created by a meteorite that struck the planet 65 to 66 million years ago and had a diameter of about 9 kilometers. A wave of magma and debris several kilometers high was created when such a large body collided with the ocean and the crust of the world. All of the material on the planet's surface ejected so quickly that much of it reached the escaped velocity, or more than 11 kilometers per second, and eventually all of the material ended up in space. In addition to rocks, everything that was formerly in the Earth's crust, including water, trees, insects, and, of course, dinosaurs, rocketed into space as a result of the meteorite's impact. This implies that a significant portion of the dinosaurs that were not instantly obliterated when the Chicxulub meteorite struck the Earth were launched into space. Undoubtedly, those dinosaurs could not survive their unfortunate trip into space without a return ticket, and it is very likely that their bodies would be promptly burned up. Yet, some of their body parts managed to reach space while still preserving their organic structures. All of the debris from the meteorite's launch of dinosaurs and a sizable portion of the Earth's crust into space congregated into a ring of asteroids that circled the planet. For tens of thousands of years, a significant portion of this material would re-enter the Earth as meteorites, but a significant portion would escape the gravity of the planet and slowly move away from it until it was caught by the gravity of another body. What celestial body is closest to the Earth? True the Moon. You might not be aware of this, but the moon moves away from the Earth at a rate of 3 centimeters every year. If we turn back the hands of time 65 million years, the moon was 1 million meters closer than it is now. Combining all of these facts reveals that a lot of trash, boulders, and dinosaur skeletons from the Earth were left in orbit 65 million years ago after the Chicxulub meteorite struck the Yucatan Peninsula. They were drawn away during the following tens of thousands of years by the gravity of the moon, dropped to the lunar surface, and eventually were gradually buried by the lunar regolith, which rises every time a meteorite strikes. And in that case, it is possible that dinosaur fossils are buried on the moon. Subscribe if you like this video. This assertion is based on a paper written in 2013 by Professor Stein Sigurdsson of the Eberly College of Sciences Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics. In this article, Professor Sigurdsson discusses all the potential outcomes of meteorites from other planets impacting Earth and maybe spreading throughout the solar system. According to the graphs, if a meteorite strikes a planet, the impact may tear apart bits of that planet, which will then fall on the other celestial bodies. The Theory of Panspermia One of the numerous scientific hypotheses that attempts to explain the origin of life on Earth is the panspermia theory. According to this view, the first living thing from which all other living things descended did not emerge spontaneously on Earth, but rather came from somewhere else in the cosmos. This means that every living thing on Earth was not created, rather, it was brought to this planet by a meteorite or asteroid that crashed into it billions of years ago. 
Similar to how dinosaur skeletons could end up on the moon, it is likely that in a different, far-off solar system, there once existed a planet that was teeming with life. When a massive meteorite struck that planet, it obliterated all of the life on it and in the process sent pieces of the planet into space in the form of asteroids that contained the cells of the creatures that lived there. The first living things on Earth appeared as microorganisms after one of those asteroids, which may have contained extraterrestrial life, traveled for millions of years through the harsh conditions of space. From there, all living things that have ever existed on this planet including us evolved and emerged. This would imply that all life in the cosmos might have originated from a single location, however as of right now, there is no proof for this. Evidence from Science it has been confirmed that at least 105 of the more than 53,000 meteorites discovered on Earth to date came from none other than Mars, the red planet, after studying and analyzing the mineral makeup and oxygen isotopes of each one. According to theories, a massive meteorite struck Mars millions of years ago, lifting a lot of material into space. Because of Mars' weak gravitational pull, the debris soon exited the planet's orbit and spread throughout the solar system, landing into adjacent celestial bodies like Earth. Why wouldn't dinosaur remnants be able to land on the moon if chunks of Mars were able to hit the Earth millions of years ago? When we approach the idea with skepticism, it isn't so absurd. Missions to the Moon until recently, none of the moon missions were launched with the intention of looking for dinosaur remains that might have fallen on the satellite millions of years ago, but that may soon change. NASA will soon launch the first missions of its Project Artemis, about which we have already produced a number of videos. The main goal of this project is to send the next generation of astronauts to the moon, and one of its key goals is to dig the lunar surface in order to look for water and valuable mineral deposits. The option of using these next missions to look for dinosaur skeletons on the moon is probably present. One of the greatest discoveries of the century would be the discovery of a single dinosaur fossil on our natural satellite. This would completely alter our understanding of life and would be made possible by one of the future missions that are being planned to send the next generation of astronauts to the moon. The likelihood that we arrived on Earth in a similar manner to dinosaurs if dinosaur fossils are discovered on the moon is very high. What if life began on Mars before moving to the Earth? What if the first life forms emerged on Venus before migrating to the Earth? These issues are difficult to answer since, as of right now, there is no proof that life has ever existed anywhere in the cosmos save Earth. The only way to find out whether anything is conceivable is to travel to those planets and search for indications of life. We must then diligently search for the truth and learn where our genuine origins lie. Because if we are not descended from the Earth, where do the living things that inhabit it come from? Where did we come from? Does our true home still exist? If it does, where is it? Several questions are raised by the possibility that there are dinosaur remains on the moon, but it is up to you to provide the answers. Do you think it's possible that there are still dinosaurs on the moon? Share your thoughts with us by leaving a thoughtful comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.